gonna share my meal with you today because um, since you guys saw that huge haul, I've been basically eating through my refrigerator, whatever is gonna expire first. I've been eating that. So today I have my cruciferous greens. I just microwave that for a little bit and then I put this chili, crunchy chili. that I got at Trader Joe's, mix a couple of tablespoons of that in, and it's just perfect. And then I just cooked up the meat that I bought, and the sauce is just sesame oil, salt and pepper. I use truffle salt, just, you know, just cause. Mm. So simple, this whole thing took me 10 minutes to make. Delicious. Mm, and so easy. Mm. I just have a couple of friends coming over, so like a little small spread, but I think it looks cute. Just a few things, but really what make it what makes it is my new Valentine's Day candles. I love them. And remember I was telling you I was gonna put tea lights in them. I think that looks really cute. I have one here. I have one here. My entry light is always on, but look how cute this one turned out, the bathroom one. That's so cute. And it matches because I have this up here. Yay! Hey guys, this lighting is a little sketchy. However, I just got back from work, so it's kind of late. It's almost 11. But I just picked up my packages and I got some fun stuff. So I thought I would just do a little haul since you guys seem to enjoy my haul from last vlog. Um, I'll start with this. I got this as a gift today from one of my friends. The Deep Tick candle. These are my favorite. I, I don't even like to burn them very often, but they smell so good. And Rose is just like my favorite scent of all time. Like not just Deep Tick, but just in life. Um, and then, oh, speaking of candles, look at this one. I think I'm going to do like an unboxing of this on TikTok or Instagram, but like how freaking cute is this? It's a cereal candle. It was like going viral and of course I had to get it. Oh my God. I'll show you like the finished version of it maybe tomorrow after I film a thing, but I can't even. That's from Amazon. Um, and then I also got... A bikini because we are going to the Dominican Republic in a week and a half. So, um, yeah. It's from Amazon too, but I thought this was super cute. This is the top. I really like the print. And then these are the bottoms. Wait, where's the... Okay. Alright, it goes like this. It goes like this. So cute, I think it's like super high on the size, which is very flattering. So I'm gonna try that on in the privacy um, <laughs> on my own house. Okay, and then I did a little Sephora shopping um, because, oh wait, one more thing. So, gosh, I get so influenced by TikTok. So I was seeing this all over the place and it's, I got it, it's the Coz RX. The Snail Mucin, the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Thought I'd give it a go. Um, yeah. If you guys want to know more about any of these products, let me know. After I use it for a while, I can do a review if you're interested. I got two more jo jo Malone soaps because we have these in every sink in the house. Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is, I think, my uh, Stephen's favorite. And then Mimosa and Cardamom. I thought it would be nice for like either the guest bathroom or the kitchen. And then I got just a few things from Sephora. I've been really, I, I don't wear makeup on a regular basis. So I've been just getting like um, sample sizes that just really small things. But I placed an order because I needed some brow products, which I, 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 I mean, I, I did my brows today, even though I have no other makeup on. So brows, I will... I will buy. Um, I got new products though because I thought I wanted to try this. The packaging is so so cute. It's the Kosis 
And this is the Air Brow. Um, and it's just like a brow gel kind of situation. Sometimes I just use this and I don't even um, fill them in because I laminate my brows myself. So they look a little bit fuller anyway. And then I got the matching pencil. The packaging is super cute. And then it comes with a little spoolie situation. Um, but really, I did this Sephora thing because I wanted to try... Oh! I wanted to try the Laneige Sleep Lip Sleeping Mask. So it's the winter, my lips are always dry. I've been using the PCR um, lip, but it's kind of expensive. So actually, I don't even know if it's expensive. It, come, it came in a package and the package was expensive um, because I used the Hydro, what is it? Hyaluronic Acid and the Sleeping Mask for the face. But everyone raves about this, so I thought I would give this a try. I'm gonna just leave this next to my bed and just smothering on, smother it on and see how it goes. I got a new NARS concealer. I have a little one of these, but this one I use quite a bit. Um, it's in the color Cafe Con Leche. I feel like it might be a little too, I don't know. I haven't tried this one. A lot of colors were, Sold out. I really wanted to get more Charlotte Tilbury stuff, but all that's sold out as well. I got a lip pencil. Again, a tiny Sephora one because I don't want to spend a lot of money on lip liners because I don't, with the masks, like who's wearing lipstick? But I thought this was a pretty color that I do not own. And then, oh, and then a cream blush. I really want to get the Charlotte Tilbury one, but this one had some really good reviews and I wanted to get you know something simple and natural for when I go on vacation also and perfectly enough this the color is beach please tau by tower beauty and yeah it's kind of like a peachy peachy nude everyday color so I don't know why I just smell that yeah and it's good for cheeks and lips so maybe this will be like my one color product that I take. Um, and then I also, for the trip, I wanted to try this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This is like a sunscreen um, serum, um, a little bit of coverage, I think. We'll have to see how much coverage it is because I hear that it is very light, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. Just something to like, basically like a tinted sunscreen for um, the day, but it has SPF 40, so it's a good amount of sun sunscreen. Also has hyaluronic acid, niacin niacinamide, squalene, so really um, uh, nourishing. Although I guess it'll be like hot and humid there, but I don't know, my skin's been really dry and I've wanted to try this for a while, so I thought this would be the perfect time. And then I just got like little, the 500 point stuff the Lord Jones Acid Mantle Repair CBD Moisturizer. Do you guys use CBD um, topical stuff? Let me know if you found that they do anything good for your skin. Um, and then I got the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. It's this color, but I thought it'd be nice to um, contour with. And then I got another Dr. Dart Ceramidin Moisturizer. I like keeping these moisturizers the mini ones in my purse because, um, you know, you'll get dry. I always get dry, especially when I have makeup on. So I just make sure I have moisturizer at all times. And I, you know, in a pinch, you can even use this on your hand, but it's for your face. And then a little tiny lipstick, how cute. Ooh, what is this? Frisky by who? That's not very good marketing, is it? Oh, it's a pretty color. Another little pinky brownish nude, a good one to have around. Why doesn't it say what the brand is? Who can read this? Seriously. I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, and then also it came with the CC cream things. I guess I could take this also and use this when I'm away. And then I also got, ooh, I really wanted to try this the Rare Beauty Primer collection. We have the pore diffusing, the illuminating, and the eye primer. Ooh, 
I'm kind of very interested in this illuminating one. Interesting. All right. Anyway, that is all for my haul. I have been snacking on my favorite nuggets. But I'm going to try to stop eating them because I literally could eat this whole bag. So good. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I have a flash refill. So excited. It was, it was looking busted. Anyone else's dog gets so excited. Like she was literally napping while I was just sitting on the couch. And then of course, when I'm exercising, she thinks it's playtime. So she literally brought like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of her toys. And it's just going crazy. Look at her. Look at her. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Coco, Coco Chanel. Ah, uh, hi. You haven't even played with most of these toys. Like this donut I haven't seen in a minute. So that's a new one. Like she had her those ones when she was a baby. She loves that rawhide, not the rawhide, the bully stick thing. She's so funny, but look at this. And then she just like randomly drops them on my face. <laughs> so, um, some of you were asking me how I cook my oxtail. So I let it um, sit in cold water for about like an hour and a half to two hours. I just drained it and really get it clean because you want like a clear broth. Um, so you want like all the blood water kind of out. And then in a big pot over here, I have some water boiling. And once it boils, I'm just gonna put the oxtail in there and let it blanch for 12 minutes. Sorry, I look crappy because I just had a huge workout, um, but I'm really excited to eat the meat. So um, yeah, there's like a, a lot of different ways to cook it, but I really like to make it simple because it just fall off the bone tender. It's just so good. So I'm just gonna blanch it for 12 minutes and um, yeah, and then I'll show you what I do next. All right, it's been 12 minutes and I'm just gonna drain this oh, um, and clean it. So what we're gonna do is see the water, the broth part, you don't want this, this is like dirty. It's kind of brown, right? So we're just gonna get in like fatty and we don't want any of this. So we're gonna take that out and it's not completely cooked. So we're gonna put it back and it's so oily. It's crazy how oily the first batch of broth is. And this is why it takes a long time. So we're gonna just put it back in here. Right. I already rinsed it out, but see how it's still really oily? So I'm gonna clean it. Make sure it's not too hot. I don't burn myself. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, so I kind of just like rub it around. All clean. Now boiling fresh water. I cleaned the pot as well. So we're gonna put that in when the water boils and we're gonna cook this for exactly two hours. Two hours later. Boiled down a lot more than I thought it would, but that's fine. So now the broth needs to cool in the fridge overnight and then the fat will kind of solidify on the top. So we don't want to eat that. So um, I'm just going to eat the meat today. Not all of it, obviously, but I had made kind of a miso soup with vegetables. This is ground turkey that I just didn't break up. And it's actually kind of good in like this stringy way, although it doesn't, it looks kind of weird. But look at this, it's, it's really fallen off the bone. That looks really good. I'm going to eat that one that one Ooh. and yeah, I think I'm gonna eat the two big ones because they seem oddly enough like the most tender oh that looks so good this is really nostalgic also because my mom used to make this all the time um, actually 
these ones, I think I'm gonna let it simmer on low heat for a little bit longer. Soup and some kimchi. There is a storm today, guys. It started last night. Um, you can't really tell here because it's already all white, but like there's nobody on the road. I can't drive to work because the road's like unsafe. Like if there's one car, they're going like so slow um, and it doesn't look like they're like going straight. It just, it's not a good situation. <laughs> so I'm gonna just stay put. Uh, I'm supposed to go in now and later, but I don't know. We'll see what happens later, but out of, as of now, there's no way that I can get into a car and all the buses and stuff like that. Public transportation is not working. So well, that's that. This is what it's looking like. And it's not stopping. Crazy. I have a little bit of guilt that other people are at work and I'm not because I remember these days when I used to look live in the city and I would go into work because I just had to like trudge through the snow and it wasn't like dangerous for me because I was just walking. I didn't even have to take the subway. But I don't even know if like what how the subway is going right now because it is a state of emergency. Like schools were closed, so I don't know why the shows are still going on. But anyway, it doesn't seem safe. It does not. Oh, hi, I know, I know. What's that? What do you mean? What do you want to say to you? What do you want to say? She wants to vlog? What do you want to say? I, didn't th I don't think she had enough screen time this vlog. Anyway, her toy collection is growing. It's kind of insane right now, but you're supposed to get another bark box soon, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do some, mommy's gonna do some yoga. Are you gonna bother me? Probably, probably. <laughs> We're gonna do some yoga, okay? Doggy yoga, come on. <laughs> Eat your breakfast, eat your breakfast. So yesterday I ate these oxtails just plain and they were so good because I ate it with kimchi and my soup. But today I'm gonna eat them on my on the whoa, on its own. Got it in there. I was only gonna eat a little bit of it, but whatever. Um this is gonna be my main meal, so I'm just heating it all up. But this time I'm gonna make a little sauce for it. I'm gonna put some coconut amino or you can use soy sauce. Eyeball everything, you know me. That, a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil is so good with everything. Like a tablespoon. And then we're gonna do Korean pepper flakes. Just a little because I'm gonna put jalapenos in here. Um, some salt. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move my meat into a bigger pan. What was I thinking? All right, I had some extra jalapenos and some Korean peppers, which I'm gonna eat the ends of, but like the seedy part, I'm gonna make into a dipping sauce for later. Um, here, I think I'll put... <laughs> okay, we're gonna put some vinegar in here. This is just apple vinegar, Korean kind. So I'll put a good amount of that in there. And then we're gonna put real, real soy sauce. A little bit of fish sauce. Some garlic powder. What else should we put in here? Let's put, instead of like regular sweetener, I'm gonna put, try stevia this time. Like, two. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, it smells so good already. Actually, I'm gonna put some sesame seeds in here too. Give 
it a little nutty something something and it looks pretty. Let's give it a little bit of a taste. Perfect. Oh, that's so good already. Close it up. Fridge. Let's use that other sauce. I'm just gonna toss it in there. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat and cover it. Here's my meal. Okay, it looks much better on the pan, but I got a phone call. So, anyway, here's it all plated up. Have some kimchi, and some, my mouth is watering. Okay, should I do like a tiny little mukbang? I did yoga and I did a cardio ab workout today, so I'm going to fully enjoy this. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Stop. Oh my god. It's so tender. This has so much like collagen. I feel like except myself getting younger as we speak mm. then it has a little kick from the jalapenos this. Mm. fresh kimchi of course I realized that I never do an end of vlog little clip, but uh, this is the end of the vlog. Yesterday, Steven came home, so um, I didn't vlog, and Coco Chanel has a little bit of a cough today, so I call the vet, um, and we're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Um, but stay tuned for the next vlog, because today's already Monday. And then a little preview the next week. Next week, we're going on vacation. Bye guys, see you next week.